Hey YouTube friends and family. How's everybody doing? I hope you're all doing great. Boy, have we had a lot of stuff going on. I mean, it's just like, bzz, you know, everything's just going. But that's a good thing. That's a good thing. It keeps all of us on our toes and aware and paying attention. It certainly does. It is good for us. You know, yesterday, I was going to uh, put up a video about 9-11. And I watched Steve's video and I thought, you know, he makes a good point. We call this the anniversary. And I know, you know, anniversary, the word itself, has its own meaning and uh, it's it's a celebration or a um, date of something that re is a re recurrence of something like your wedding you know your uh, wedding anniversary the anniversary of uh, a child being born or uh, many different things a celebration is what anniversary to me means celebration so it bothers me when I hear the word an anniversary tied to something like Pearl Harbor or uh, Hiroshima, 9-11. When I think of the word anniversary, it means something special. Steve suggested that we do a day of silence where we don't feed, feed the uh, negativity, the pain, the dark memories of that day and I kinda thought that he had a point so I kept myself silent about it yesterday but today I've been thinking about it and what I had planned for yesterday I didn't do but I'm going to share it with everybody now you know Sometimes we believe something and we believe it so strongly that we become bullheaded or we become um, locked in in our beliefs. Even if somebody brings new information to us we refuse it. We don't open up and take it and and work with it or analyze it, investigate it, research it because we already have our mindset. And Leo Tolstoy, a great poet and writer, and I forget the years, what year it was. This is way back. He, uh, a clip out of one of the things that he wrote, I used in my blog. It said the most difficult subjects can be explained to the most slow-witted man if he has not formed an idea of them already. But the simplest thing cannot be made clear to the most intelligent man if he is firmly persuaded that he knows already without a shadow of doubt what is laid before him. And isn't that how we are? We get our minds set People can bring new information to us. 
it's kind of like the word God. People just automatically assume that he's been called God since the beginning of time. Since the earth was created. Since Adam and Eve. And that's not so. The word God is a man-made word and can be looked up. You can research it. You can get the information, find out when that word started being used. Another one is the name Jesus. Jesus, the J in, in modern language in the alphabet, wasn't even in existence. Check it out. You owe it to yourself. But if you go to people and you tell them this, they already have their mindset. And they just are not open to new information. We get locked in. And it's kind of like a pond, guys. You know, I could go out in the backyard and build myself a nice pond. Right, Carpo? And in this pond, I could put fish. I could have an outlet without an inlet. And the pond would run dry. I could have an inlet without an outlet and the pond would overflow. So a healthy pond like our minds, has to be able to let information out and information in to keep it healthy, to keep it up to date. It certainly has to. I wrote something. It's called Freedom Buried Alive. Now keep in mind that I wrote this yesterday, or for yesterday. So I'm going to use the word today, meaning the 11th of September. Freedom Buried Alive. Today marks the 12th anniversary of a day that forever changed history. A day that scarred the minds of many people worldwide. Scars that will live, will live on for lifetimes as the events are replayed into the minds of the future generations through the hand-me-down stories. Stories that will never really have an ending, only a beginning. A day that has been used against the freedoms of an entire nation imbued fear into the hearts and minds of mothers, fathers, and children of every nationality. People who would be relieved, relieved of basic human rights because of suspicions and threats. Though the people committed no crimes, other than the crime of ignorance. The ignorance of trust given freely without reservation, without investigation. People who have been blindly led into a prison of what ifs. As if closed in by walls of solid steel, cameras, and security, focusing on innocence as the new found crime of humanity. Three buildings fell that day, and as the ground rumbled beneath the liquefied molten steel girders, a big piece of freedom was buried alive never to be resurrected, as the truth of what happened that September day in 2001 is blanketed 
in a haze of fear, inducing deceptions and lies. Though the world is divided on who actually committed the heinous crimes on September 11, 2001, one thing stands out clear for those who care to look. The crimes did not happen as mainstream media and the United States government portrayed. Many specialists in the fields of architectural design and engineering have spent countless hours, days, and years inspecting every possibility only to conclude that something is severely wrong with the official reports. On behalf of the victims of those innocent of any crimes who live under the threat of even more scrutiny, I implore all people of the world to take a clearer look into the facts, the pictures, and the timing of all events that morning 12 years ago today. It is time that the truth be our foundation and unity be our guide. Friends, given everything that's happening and the feeling and the hope that we have for peace, the entire notion of this terrorism and where it actually comes from is something that we desperately need to look at. We are good people. We are smart people. We love, we care, we share, and we must not let the darkness destroy what we have left of integrity. I love you all, great big hugs, and jelly beans, definitely jelly beans. You know, children know more than we do. They know how to be absolutely real. Our governments could learn from children. Catch you guys later.